Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Sal, it's got high heels too. Um, thanks very much for coming today. It's, it's, a very, it's going to be a lovely afternoon, but also quite sad because the chances are we won't be doing many more concerts in the Crawford, um, whether the Crawford will actually exist in a few months' time. God only knows. Um, so, what was I going to say? See, to like my new trousers, I, I, I bought them. And I could, have, I could have used the money to buy one share in Facebook, which I believe is going to float in the market today. But I thought maybe it's a little more worthwhile. Um, what can I say about Charlotte? Uh, she started well, as a bassoon player, I think originally. I think we were going to have her on the course. We considered her initially as a bassoon player. But she was more, rested, more interested in singing, playing the guitar, and writing the songs. And um, she's made lots of new friends, she's got lots of new things happening, and she's I don't know, she's, she's changed dramatically through, through, through the time she's been here. Um, I think this is going to be a really memorable concert, so would you please put your hands together and welcome Charlotte Prinzer. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my honours recital. I'm going to start with. I'm going to try and curb the ginger jokes. They really call out to me to crack them, but I'm going to really try and cover it back. Are we ready?
Thank you. So I'll give my formal introduction. Welcome to my honours recital. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, I'd like to, for my next song, welcome on the string section. So that first song was called Midnight in Harlem and it was by Trucks and Tedeschi and Susan Tedeschi is a vocalist that I really look up to. I kind of discovered her online by accident through my dad and I just thought she's kind of, she's what I want to do, you know, I want to have that sound, that look, that band, so that's why that one went in the programme. But for my second song, I'm really ashamed to say it's from the Twilight soundtrack, which I didn't know when Pam told me at first, so she sneaked it in past me. But, um, this song's called My Love, it's by Saya. Um, I was considering doing Titanium, that wasn't, but um, <laughs> yeah, this song's called My Love.
section for that song, the song they feature on, but they were absolutely fantastic, so thank you guys. <laughs> for a minute, so, um, in fact, when I decided to do an honour recital, I knew that without a doubt I'd have to have an acoustic set inside of like a full band set because, I don't know, acoustic music to me is like PVC to share, it's like <laughs> everything to me, I've worked acoustically. <laughs> yes, a share joke, done. Um, uh, for the last year I've worked with my guitarist James Neal, affectionately named Jazz with one Z, like God with one D, but we've done countless gigs acoustically and thanks to him he's really brought on my confidence. Um, so yeah, I decided to do three acoustic songs in my set, so I'd like to welcome on Jazz. The first song I'm going to do is by a singer-songwriter called Ivor Palsketeer from the Faroe Islands. Um, Jazz let me listen to this song um, maybe a year ago and it was just one of these songs that instantly haunted me. I don't know if you've ever had like a, a feeling where you, if you're sad or if you're happy and you happen to listen to a song and you just think, oh that's just captured exactly how I feel at that point in time but when I listened to this song it was instantly the feeling that I had um, so yeah this song's called All Blue Oh, 
My next song is, I think, one that will always be really dear to me. It says in the programme notes that I had the privilege of singing this at my best friend's wedding last weekend. Um, she heard the track. It's by she and him, Zoe Deschanel. We can't love her. Um, and when I heard it, I thought, I wish I'd picked that for an exercise that Jerry Rossi gave us in second year. I don't know if you remember, but we were given an exercise where we had to present a song where the lyrics meant something to us. Um, I know I, I picked up Blind Melon song at the time, but when I heard this, I really wished that I'd, I'd picked this. I think the lyrics are so simple but elegant, and the upbeat kind of guitar rhythm behind it complements you know, the lyrics perfectly and I thought it was a great choice for a fir that first dance, completely different and I kind of just fell in love with the track really so this had to go in to the middle of my acoustic set as a short number that I think I'll always hold really dear to my heart. So this one is Fool's Rush In. small acoustic set, I thought, um, what can I fill this gap with? What usually comes out at recital time for bands? Well, let's think about it. Uh, Jamiroquai, Stevie Wonder and Michael Jackson. So, of course, I decided to do a Michael Jackson cover. It's uh, I Want You Back. It was actually taking Jazz and I listened to the Civil Wars cover of it. Um, and we just thought, that's, that's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So instantly, Jazz kind of ran away, started fumbling around with the new guitar part, and we just thought, this is cool, let's, let's start gigging this. So we did, and this is I Want You Back. Once Jazz is tuned. Jump. 
Jones is playing guitar. Every street you're walking on your 